I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. So, somehow my voice still hasn't recovered from the flu, but another trailer came out and I have to talk about it. It is, of course, the second trailer for The Mandalorian. Now, like the last trailer for Rise of Skywalker, there's a lot to unpack here. Ultimately, I thought the trailer looks incredible. We see a lot of new footage of the Mandalorian ship, the Razor Crest, which looks awesome. As well as a lot of new little tidbits and new things that we hadn't seen before that honestly get me really excited for the show. But there are a few things in particular that really caught my eye with this trailer. First things first, let's discuss the elephant in the room. About midway through the trailer, we see a droid gunship and some super battle droids. Now, my guess story-wise is that these are going to be from a flashback sequence. Uh, where we see the origin of our main character, the Mandalorian. It appears to be a village being attacked by the Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars. This gets me really excited, because that means we get to see more live-action Clone Wars content. That really pumps me up and makes me really excited for the show. One thing I would like to note about this scene is if this is our main character when he's younger, this doesn't look like Mandalore. This looks like something else. Uh, the Mandalore we're used to from the Clone Wars and Rebels has these big domed cities, and everything's very angular and sharp. And this looks like a, a rundown village on what might be like a desert planet. And that doesn't really fit very well with the Mandalore that we've seen before. So those few shots of what appears to be a flashback to the Clone Wars are, of the whole trailer, the thing that probably gets me the most intrigued. Because I would like to see where that's going to lead. The other thing that really caught my eye was a very strong Imperial presence. Now, we've seen Imperials in previous trailers for The Mandalorian, and we knew that there were going to be Imperial forces in here, but we see a lot more of them in this trailer. There's a shot where some Imperial soldiers appear to be searching a room. We see Stormtrooper helmets at the very beginning. Uh, we see a TIE fighter. We see some more uh, Death Troopers. So ultimately, this plays into one of my hopes, and I really hope that, that The Mandalorian is the means that we get to see this. I would like to see clear examples of Imperial remnants lasting after the Battle of Jakku. Now, I am under the impression that this takes place at some point after the Battle of Jakku, and seeing a prominent presence of Imperial troops and Imperial forces gives me hope. Now, I'm concerned that this might be just a few dozen stormtroopers and a commanding officer, when I really hope that this is a piece of a, a larger faction with some military capabilities, but still it gives me hope to see things like TIE Fighters and Stormtroopers after the Battle of Jakku. And if you want more on my feelings about the fall of the Empire and all of that stuff, stay tuned. I've got a video coming later this week that I filmed, luckily, before I got sick. Um, that's all about that, so that should come out around Friday. Overall, the trailer looks really promising. The show as a whole looks really promising. I'm really excited for its release, and it's going to be really hard to juggle that and uh, Jedi Fallen Order, which come out the same day. But that should be an exciting week, and I'm really looking forward to it. And this trailer does nothing but just hype me up more for it. Once again, I'm sorry for the short videos. I'm sorry for my voice being all messed up. Hopefully, by next week, it'll be better. I know I said that last week, and it's not better, but, you know, we'll see. If you like what you saw here today, and you want more discussions about science fiction, head down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and get notified when I upload new videos. Also, like and comment. Tell me what you thought of the trailer and what you're most excited for about the show. I'd love to hear it. I'm Colin. This has been Sci-Fi Deep Dive, and I will see you next time.